Dre reporting from Inshore Yakker TV. The weather is absolutely insane out here. Uh, Hurricane Michael is, oh my goodness, it's, it's really, um, it's really, oh, it's really not that bad. Um, yeah, so we're on our way to the Oak Island Classic. Unfortunately, Thursday and Friday was canceled, but Saturday has been saved. Unfortunately, I have to make a decision. Do I fish inshore or do I fish offshore? Um, I think I'm going to choose the inshore. There's just more, more prize potential in the inshore division. You've got your redfish division, your trout division, your flounder division, and they also have an inshore slam division. So I think I'm going to fish inshore. But with that being said, a uh, little backstory on the Oak Island Classic uh, this year. Uh, it was almost canceled altogether because of Hurricane Florence. Um, there was a water contamination issue that actually got lifted, thank goodness. And I don't even think it was 24 hours after that got lifted, they were like, hey, be on the look lookout for Hurricane Michael. So we were on the lookout for Hurricane Michael and thankfully Hurricane Michael decided to hook a little bit west and really not affect this area too much. We got a little bit of wind, got a little bit of rain, um, but thankfully a portion of the Oak Island Classic is still going on. We are fishing Saturday. We will be there in 20 minutes and uh, hopefully we can bring Inshore Yakker TV their first tournament win. So y'all stay tuned, let's see what happens. All right guys, uh, <laughs> we are at the Oak Island Classic and uh, not very many boats at this launch so I got kind of lucky. Hopefully we can uh, get some fish Y'all stay tuned. All right, so there's the first blow up. Oh, there's. Oh, shoot. I knew this was gonna happen. Oh, and he come undone. Come undone right there. That was a big trout, dude. Oh my God, that was a big trout. That probably would have won the tournament. <laughs> I knew that was going to happen. Came back and hit it twice. God, that was a big trout. Anytime you got these little cuts in here, fish them. There are fish blowing up right here in front of me. That fish would have won the tournament. That was a much appreciated bonus. Less work for me. Ride this wave. And just like I thought, plenty of boaters. Unfortunately, there's two other tournaments going on also, so as far as my redfish go, I'm not too concerned about it. My speckled trout is what I'm worried about. I'm hoping they're just in here trying to get bait and getting out of here. But praying that the commotion of all the motors don't spook the trout too much. A lot of boat traffic this morning. All right, so my 
gut says stick to my plans. That's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to go up in here. The water's up a little bit higher than I'd like it to be, to be honest with you. I'll creep in here. In here nice and easy. The problem when the, when the water is so high like this, there's no reason for them to hold. They just go all the way to the back. So, we're going to give it a shot. better yet, I'm going to make a cast and ruin the whole spot. <laughs> God, I wouldn't have luck if it wasn't for bad luck. Fish on, guys. It's a rat, but it's a fish. Oh, another fish on. That's a good sign. As y'all know from past videos, this is a pretty awesome spot, but you have to weed through the pups first. All right, so while I struggle with my measuring board, I'm going to give you all an explanation of what I'm doing. So this is a photo release tournament. Um, if you notice on my left wrist, I have a red band. That's our identifier. It's got to be in the picture with the measurement of the fish. So that's how we can identify that it was actually caught on that exact day.
guys, a little bit of fish. Oh yeah. Which way to face the camera? <laughs> really good fish. Come on, baby. Come on. There we go. Nice fish. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about, baby. That's what I'm talking about. That's a nice one. Really nice fish. Wow. <laughs> That's a really nice fish. Okay. Let me take a minute to apologize for that sun in the background. It was really, really bright out there. I had no idea that it was going to be in y'all's faces. I really apologize. Really nice pretty fish check that one out guys beautiful beautiful fish gorgeous absolutely beautiful fish beautiful fish all right big girl she gone trout. Hmm. Now this leaves a question. <laughs> Do I go for my slam? Just for like a personal thing, I think I might go for my slam. Measure this bad boy. Little trout. All right, so the real question at hand is, how long do I stay here? I've got one, I believe it was a 23, 24 inch redfish. I think it's a 23 actually. I've got a 23 inch redfish. Will that stand up? Probably not. Um, I don't think we're gonna be in, in contention for any of the prize, uh, prizes or anything. 
Um, but I still have a chance at the inshore slam. Um, question is, do I leave here now to go try to catch a flounder? Trout was a bust. So I don't, I, I'm, I'm kind of torn right now. I don't know what to do. I really don't know what to do. Um, I could stay here and fish the outgoing tide. Um, I, I, I just don't know what to do. I'm really, really torn. Um, I was gonna dedicate all of my time and efforts to strictly redfish, um, cause I know a bunch of people are trying to get that slam. Um, I just don't know what to do. All right, so we've moved out of the backwater. We're back in the main portion of the creek. Um, I'm gonna get up off this point over here. I've got like six more mud minnows left. So I'm gonna see if maybe we can uh, pull a trout off of one of those. The trout don't seem to be hitting lures too much except for like top water. So uh, I'm gonna try to see if maybe they'll hit one of these mud minnows. I wish I had some shrimp, but uh, yeah, it's high tide. So it's gonna be tough. It's gonna be tough to get some shrimp now. But I wish I, I wish I'd have cast net a little at low tide. But oh well, what can you do? So let's see what we can do over here. Upgrade from a trout. much of an upgrade, but an upgrade nonetheless. Alright, so I guess that was a good move. A little bit of an upgrade. Well guys, it's 2 o'clock. I gotta head in. Um, the tide I didn't didn't pay attention to the tide forgot that I'd be going against the tide going back in so I got a heck of a paddle or a heck of a pedal and uh, wound up with a 23 inch red and a 13 about 13 and a quarter inch uh, trout I don't think I'm gonna do nothing in the tournament, but I still have a ball uh, with these with these guys and uh, the NCKFA. Excellent, excellent program, excellent, uh, excellent club, man. And I'm telling you, there's there's not a better organization out there. I promise you. Um, but anyway, I'm tired already, and I still have a long way to go so uh i'm gonna put this camera away and uh next time you'll see me we'll be at the weigh-ins all right give me one three three so, three three is, we have a new champion in this division this is the smallest fish cut caught on hook and line raymond gentry defending oh, champ game? Well, he got injured in a work Yeah, there. that's what it was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And this, the, the tag fell off, so we just wrote it on with Magic Marvel. <laughs> but, but we've had a hurricane, we've had a lot of problems, so that's probably what caused this breakdown. With a croaker at three and three quarters inches, Mr. Reed. Ooh, wow. Yeah. That's tough. That's tough. This redfish was slightly larger than that. So. In the future, please keep in mind, there are big redfish here in shore. So, uh, we didn't have to worry about this one, but next year you may want to bring a bigger ruler just in case we get in a situation. So we're gonna call this one 31 because that's the most accurate we can be with it. Mike, I can't, is that a D or a T or an L? I can see <laughs> Benefil. Benefil, Benefil yay! <laughs> We had our uh, rep last night tell us a little bit about them with the thousand dollar. 
And he just made the Great Outdoor Provisions team. With kayak fishing team. Kayak fishing team. Which means that we can keep the check. And we should keep the check. Yeah, yeah right. Uh, with the 58 and a quarter, Mr. Andrew Ines. Yeah.